I'm an addict for sneakers. Here we go, here we go. We got the new Air Jordan 13 Retro Olive Shoes in hand. About to hit you with a detailed, honest keyword honest review before we do make sure to subscribe if you're new and there's a little bell next to the subscribe button it is so important that you hit the little bell you don't hit it youtube will not notify you when you hit that little bell it tells youtube it's a okay for them to let you know when i upload a new video so you don't miss out on future content now let's get to the shoe in my opinion right off the bat they're fire I'm looking at it with you guys all for the first time. This is literally me looking at it now. I am seeing, I'm seeing some glue issues. I'm seeing some stains. And of course, I'm going to show you in just a second. You know, that just kills me. Like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, man, these are fire. And then all of a sudden, I start seeing flaws. And it's like, oh, come on on it's 2018 why why is there still issues with glue how long have they been making this shoe they've been making it for over i mean it's been a long time how many years has it been do the math someone one of my math people do the math for me man it's been a long time there should not be issues like this anymore and it just shows that they're not putting enough love in the factories. They got to pay these people more or something. So they put a little more love when they're putting this thing together. Let's get up close. As you can see, that suede. Very nice. But I don't know if you guys see it. I see it. You see that? You see that right there? Ah, no good. No good. I hate that, man. Got your red Jordan right there where the laces start rope laces suede tongue and then you've got your jump man stitched in in red up top let's get back look at the side of the shoe you see that glue right there by the midsole see that's no good man look like look whack that's just a whack look i hate that up top see that oh see that on that suede come on man damn it i want to give this a good review the indentations on the suede are supposed to represent the Panther's whiskers, by the way. A lot of inspiration to the Black Panther on this shoe right here. You have your holographic look with your Jumpman and your 23 right there. It's supposed to represent the Panther's eye, that holographic look. So nice. Looking at the back of this shoe, check it out. And then on the medial side, as far as the fit, I personally recommend going true to size. If you have a real narrow foot, you probably could go down half a size. If you have a wide foot, I think you should stay true to size unless you always go up half a size, then do that. Because when this shoe creases, it just looks horrible. It's kind of like how the Jordan 10 is. When it creases, in my opinion, it's time for them to go. Get lost. Time for them to go. go. Jordan 1s, Jordan 3s, I could get down with a little creasing. But this shoe, Jordan 10s, oh goodness. Man, once they start folding a little bit on the sides by the toe, it's, it's painful. It's painful to see. Like, get them out of here. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Taking a look at the outsole, you got your plate right there with your red hit, with your jump man, with your herringbone traction on the heel and the forefoot. The actual outsole is supposed to represent the Panther's claw. You kind of see that vibe right there. Let me know if you see that or I'm going crazy right now. And there we go with a close-up HD look at the Air Jordan 13 Olive Retro. Now, the suede is nice on them, but the problem is the craftsmanship is just bad. It's crapmanship. You caught that, right? Crapmanship. Not craftsmanship. Crapmanship. Because they put a lot of crap into it. Like, they didn't show any love putting it together. I don't know. Maybe Jordan Brand ain't, like... Giving these people that make these shoes enough love, like, you know, financially. Maybe they need to, like, give them a little raise so they put a little more love into that when they gluing them up and all. <laughs> because it looks like they just slapping that together at times, man. It's, it starts getting late. Maybe they got, like, a half an hour, 45 minutes left on the clock, and they just slapping it together. Slap, slap, bong, bong, bong. Just putting them together real quick. And maybe I caught one of those pairs, not, you know, the early morning shift when they, they put a lot more care into it. You know, it seems like it's real hit or miss when you're getting a pair of Jordans. You're either going to get something that's A1 as far as with the glue and the stitching, or sometimes you're just like shaking your head like, man, what is going on here? Do I recommend them? Yes, I definitely recommend them. I think they look sick. Besides all the flaws that I'm seeing, 
they are really nice if you get yourself a pair that don't got them flaws and not every pair is going to have these flaws so I really recommend that if you go to buy it in the stores you really look at it just really inspect the shoe look at the suede you look where I just showed you there's boo-boos at you know and then just see and say okay these are boo-boo free so we could go on our way here here's your money peace thank you that's what you got to do but I definitely recommend them they're really really nice shoes um this is my friend's pair I'm glad I didn't pay for these because these you know they're not looking right right now but I definitely want a pair of them they are really nice I will put information in the description box below if you're looking for them and you know what hit the thumbs up button and show that love let's get to some more sneaker talk because I got a few things I want to talk about real quickly because I want to know what's going on with you guys and I want to know your thoughts so let's get right into it I want to speak about this Air Jordan 3 there's rumors that this Air Jordan 3 white cement with the translucent outsole will be releasing this year now this is a sample from a while ago that you're looking at right now Jordan supposedly he wore this kind of shoe with the translucent outsole when he did that amazing slam dunk from the foul line yeah i don't really recall what it had on the outsole of the shoe whether it was translucent or not i remember the dunk i watched it live as a kid but um people saying that you know it had a translucent outsole so my question to you guys is are you in that like sentimental vibe where you're like you know what I love that they're putting this out. This is true to that moment where he did that amazing dunk. Or are you like, man, translucent? Come on, man. Like, because you know it's going to get all yellow and it's going to start looking doo-doo brownish. Like, like me, like, as, as much as I love Michael Jordan's career and I love watching him play in basketball and everything and I love those moments, this shoe's going to look so bad, in my opinion, once it starts yellowing. Like, I would prefer they just release the shoe as is, like, as we know it. You know, Nike on the back, and just give us them solid colors on the outsole. The translucent vibe, I'm not really that excited about it, but that's just me. I want to know your opinion, so are you excited about it, or are you kind of just like, eh, I kind of, I'm kind of on your team with this, Delzy. Let me know. Regardless if you agree with me or not, it's all love. You know, that's what we love about these sneakers. We got different opinions, but at the end of the day, we all are here for that one thing. We love these kicks. So definitely speak your mind in the comment box below. Also, we got to talk about these Air Jordan Off-Whites. This is supposedly going to be the second colorway to release. Uh, were you guys expecting something different? I was expecting more of like an OG colorway. I wasn't expecting this right here. Customizers are going to have a field day with this if this really releases because it's like an open canvas. It's a complete open canvas. Maybe that was the whole idea when they were putting this one together. This is a sample pair. I don't know. I mean, if they're going to charge what they were charging for the last pair, I'll tell you now, I'm not jumping out of my seat for it. The other one looks better than me because of the fact that you got all them colors popping. And this one just, it's just not exciting me at all. So um, that's my thoughts on this. But I'd love to know your thoughts are you digging this? Are you hype? Are you wanting this to release? Or are you just kind of like, eh, it is what it is, whatever. I'm just, I'm not that excited about this. Let me know in the comments. I've been really trying to make these videos like we're just hanging out, talking kicks. Like you with me right now, hanging out. So that's the whole goal. I hope you guys are getting that vibe. And I hope I'm delivering that vibe home. I love feedback too. If you guys have anything you want me to ever discuss on this channel, Please, I got both my hands together. Please let me know. Anything you want me to discuss, let me know in the comments. Some new sneaker that's coming out, um, uh, a pick one sneaker battle, anything. Leave it in the comments. I'm trying to deliver. That's my whole goal in 2018, to deliver to my audience, the ones that's been rocking with me, to the ones that just started. Love you guys. Love you ladies. Love everyone that's watching. And that's really, as I said, that's my goal for 2018. I want this channel to be better than ever. Never, never. So definitely leave your feedback, leave your comments. I definitely have had a lot of people that's been wanting me to speak about these upcoming Fly Knit Air Jordan 6s. But I haven't done that video yet just because of the fact I haven't found a good photo of that shoe where I could really, really go in whether it's positive or negative on the shoe. I'm getting like three-fourths of one angle. And so as soon as I get like 
a whole bunch of detailed looks and I can give it a fair shot, I definitely will do that video on the Flyknit Air Jordan 6. Thanks for watching today's episode. Make sure to pick up the Sneaker Attic t-shirt. That will be linked in the description box below. Ships worldwide, fits true to size, and they're dope. The same people that make the Bullet Club t-shirts make my t-shirts. And you know those are really fire, too sweet. Thanks for watching. Much love. We out.